YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be revealing the top five best glitched builds in NBA 2K22 Next Gen. Really quickly, like and subscribe if you eat food, and also let me know if you're planning on making any of these builds. So starting this off for the first build, we're gonna be making a point guard. To start, you're gonna to wanna to be on the metric system, although this will change later. And for the height, you're gonna to wanna to go with 1.77 meters. For the weight, go with 66 kg and 1.78 meters for the wingspan. Also, something really quickly for the height, go straight to 1.77 meters. Like, don't go down to minimum and then bring it back up. Just go straight to 1.77 meters. After you've done that, for the attributes and takeovers, pretty much just go with random stuff. This does not matter whatsoever, but you do have to do this to glitch the build. After you've done that, when you get on this screen with the build name, scroll over to where it says edit build, and then press edit build and back out to the main menu. After you've done that, change the unit of measurement and then edit the build you just made. And then I would recommend going with six foot three, 174 pounds and a six foot five wingspan. Overall, I believe this is the best balance between being fast, having good defense, and at the same time having good shooting starting things off finishing you guys can see this is pretty good obviously this isn't like a rim running build but if you do have an open lane towards the basket you can comfortably take it for shooting you guys can see this is absolutely elite you get 31 total shooting badges as well as a 93 three-pointer which is going to be a 98 three-pointer if you buy jump shot boost for playmaking, this is also just as elite. I mean, you're getting Hall of Fame handles for days, Hall of Fame quick first step, and Hall of Fame quick chain, as well as good passing, like you really can't go wrong. And then for defensive slash rebounding, obviously this isn't crazy, although you are able to hold your own on the defensive end, definitely a lot better than majority of point guard builds. And then scrolling down here to the physicals, you guys can see this is quite good. In my opinion, 85 vertical is very helpful to get small contact dunks. And also the reason why my speed is a lot lower than my acceleration is because speed helps you move around faster off ball, while acceleration helps you speed boost faster. So acceleration is like way, way more important. If you guys want free throw on this build, what I'd recommend doing is drop down your driving dunk one rating to an 85. Also drop down your vertical 10 ratings down to a 75. And then with this, I'd recommend bumping up your free throw to an 80. And then with the leftover ratings, you can kind of throw it on whatever you want to. Although I think you're best off going with a 97 stamina and an 85 speed. For the takeovers, you guys can see I decided to go double limitless range. All around, especially for a three point hunting build such as this one, I believe these are the best takeovers. And as you guys can see, I built a two-way three-point playmaker, which is definitely 100% a very accurate name. Also, if you guys do want to see this glitch six foot three build in action, I did a gameplay video with a very, very similar build. Be sure to check it out. So moving on to build number two, this is also going to be a point guard build. And for this build, the glitch is actually the exact same. You're going to want to go with 1.77 meters, 66 kg and 1.78 meters. Go with random attributes and takeovers, change the units of measurement and then edit the build you just made. For the body settings of this specific build, I'd recommend going with six foot four, 170 pounds and a six foot seven wingspan. Also, if you want to on this glitch six foot four build, you can get a six foot three wingspan. Although I don't really think it's that worth worth it in my opinion. Starting these off with finishing, you guys can see this is pretty decent. You're getting an 84 driving dunk as well as 14 finishing badges. And just like the previous build, this is not a rim running build, but if you do have an open lane towards the basket, you can take it. For shooting, you guys can see this is very, very good with 30 total shooting badges and a 91 three-pointer. And then for playmaking, since this is a point guard build, obviously this is quite good as well. Although you're not able to get as many Hall of Fame playmaking badges as the previous build. Onto defensive slash rebounding, you guys can see this is significantly better than the previous build. All simply due to the fact that you have at least a little bit of block, which definitely helps quite a bit on the defensive end. And then onto the physicals, you guys can see this is quite good as well. You're definitely not able to be this fast on a normal six foot four build. If you want free throw on this build, all you have to do is drop down speed one rating and pass accuracy one rating. This will give you a 76 free throw, which is definitely good enough to hit free throws consistently. For the takes, I'm going with the exact same ones as before, and that is double limitless range. Again, this is a very similar three point hunting point guard build. And as you guys can see, I built yet again another two way three point playmaker, which honestly, I'm not super surprised by since it's a very similar build, although it would be nice to get a different name. Also, just like the previous build, I have made a gameplay video using this build, so go check it out. So for build number three, this is gonna be another point guard build, although it's definitely a lot different from the previous two. 
For the glitch, it's gonna be the exact same. So just go with 1.77 meters, 66 kg, and 1.78 meters. And then you guys know the drill, go with random attributes and takeovers, and then change the units of measurement. After that, of course, edit the build you just made. But this time for the body settings, you're gonna wanna go with six foot seven, 180 pounds, and a seven foot wingspan. Now starting things off with the finishing on this build, you can see this is a ton better than the previous builds. Not only do you get gold posterizer, but you're also gonna get 16 finishing badges, as well as the elite contact dunk package. So next on to shooting, you guys can see this is quite good. You're still definitely gonna be able to green very, very consistently. For playmaking, this is all around decent, like nothing too crazy. You're getting 24 total playmaking badges, and as well, you're gonna be able to move around very easily and pass the ball quite well. And then on to the defense of this build. This is easily by far the best part of this build. You guys can see you're getting gold clamps and gold interceptor, as well as silver rim protector and silver intimidator. All around, definitely the defense on this build is just top tier. And then scrolling down here to the physicals, you guys can see this is quite good as well. If you want free throw on this build, all you're going to want to do is drop down your offensive rebound to a 41. This will also drop down your defensive rebound, but will give you a 79 free throw. And you guys can see for the takeovers, I decided to go with extreme clamps and limitless range. After all, I do kind of think of this as a two-way sharp build. And you guys can see I built a two-way three-point shot creator, which definitely makes a ton of sense as a name. Also, just like the previous two builds, again, I have made a gameplay video using this build, so be sure to check it out. So I'm right into the fourth build of the video. This is going to be a kind of complicated build, so just bear with me. For this build, you're going to want to be a small forward. And then for the body settings, you're going to want to go with 1.97 meters with max weight and max wingspan and the burly body shape. Or basically just fat. If you've done that, you're going to want to go with the random takeovers and attributes. Again, as usual, they don't really matter. Of course, once you're on this screen, scroll over to where it says edit build and then change the units of measurement. This time for the body settings, you're going to want to go with 6 foot 8, 250 pounds, and a 7 foot 6 wingspan. And then for the body shape, go with the 5. Again, at this point, you guys know what to do. Just go with the random attributes and takeovers. Scroll over to where it says edit build, back out to the main menu, and then change the units of measurement. After you've done that, again, go in and edit the build you just made and what you're pretty much going to want to do is change the body settings to pretty much how you had them before but this time go with 2.21 meters for the wingspan so pretty much just copy everything you guys see on the screen right now and then for the attributes and takeovers again go with random stuff change the units of measurement and then edit the build you just made and now you're pretty much on the final step what you're gonna do right here is drop down the weight to 230 pounds don't go any higher and don't go any lower just leave it at 230 pounds after you've done that, bump up the height to 6 foot 10, and then drop down the weight to minimum at 197 pounds. And then for the wingspan, I would just recommend going with 7 foot 5. Now really quickly, you guys see I haven't upgraded this build at all, but I'm going to do that right now. So first, starting this off with finishing, you guys can see this is absolutely just insane. You guys can see you have 23 total finishing badges, but more importantly, you get an 86 driving dunk and a 99 standing dunk with Hall of Fame posterizer. So right now to shooting, you guys can see this is pretty decent. Obviously, it's not like crazy or anything, but if you do have an open shot, you're going to be able to green consistently. For playmaking, you guys can see this is quite good. Obviously, you're six foot ten; it's not going to be that crazy. But I mean, this is definitely going to be a very good point forward build. And then scrolling down here to defensive slash rebounding, you guys can see again this is very very good. The one downside is unfortunately you're only able to get silver rebound chaser, but beyond that, you're getting Hall of Fame rim protector, gold interceptor, and Hall of Fame intimidator. And then scrolling down here to the physicals, you guys can see this is quite good. I don't really think I need to explain this. If you do want free throw on this build, what I'd recommend doing is drop down your offensive rebound to a 73. Also drop down your perimeter defense to a 75 and you can get a 66 free throw, which probably isn't good enough to hit free throws consistently. So what I'd recommend doing is drop down your stamina to a 96 and drop down your speed to a 73. You can go ahead and get a 76 free throw. So moving on to the takeovers, I decided to go with some kind of unique takeovers in first spot position and second see the future. For some reason on this build, you're unable to get rim takeovers. And as you guys can see, I built a facilitating finisher, which honestly, I guess kind of makes sense as a name. So moving on to the fifth and final build of this video, this is going to be our center build. For the body settings, you're going to want to go 2.17 meters, 101 kg, and 2.41 meters for the wingspan. Again, as usual, I'm pretty sure you guys know what to do. Go with random attributes and takeovers, edit the build, back out to the main menu, and then change the units of measurement. 
Then go ahead and edit the build you just made. And then for the body settings, I would recommend going with seven foot two, 235 pounds and eight feet for the wingspan. And you guys see right here, even though you're seven foot two, you're able to get a 75 vertical, which is definitely very clutch because it'll give you elite big man contact dunks. Starting things off with finishing, you guys can see this is very, very good. You're gonna get a 90 standing dunk as well as 26 total finishing badges. And all around this build finishing is gonna be really good, whether you're post scoring or just cutting towards the basket. For shooting, you guys can see this is also quite good as well. In total, you're going to get 14 total shooting badges and a 73 three-pointer. Definitely, it's not like a sharp shooting build, but those of you that know your jump shot will be able to green consistently. For playmaking, this is also quite good. You're going to get an 85 pass act, which is pretty much the only thing you need on a center build. On the defensive slash rebounding, you guys can see this is just elite. You're gonna get Hall of Fame Brick Wall, Hall of Fame Rim Protector, and Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser. I mean, the defense on this build is just top tier. And then scrolling down here to the physicals, you guys can see this is quite good. I don't really think I need to explain this. If you do want free throw on this build, I recommend doing is drop down your stamina to a 93. Also drop down your stamina to a 64 and your close shot to an 82. And then with this, you're able to get a 73 free throw. For the takeovers, I would recommend going with first, see the future and second stuff blocks. I think these are two pretty good takeovers for a defensive oriented center build. And as you guys can see, I built a two way facilitator, which definitely makes a lot of sense as a name. So again, just like some of the previous builds, I have done a gameplay video with this build. Be sure to check it out. If you didn't make it this far into the video, please drop me a like, subscribe to the channel. There's three gameplay videos on the screen right now of three different glitch builds. One of which wasn't even featured in this video. So be sure to check it out. Like, subscribe, go follow me on Twitter and I'm out. Peace.